if you could please say a prayer for the people that are viewing this, that would be amazing. Um, just simply don't be afraid to be set free. You should be more concerned about who's oppressing you. Never let condemnation or shame be an obstacle to you being free. God wants his people to be free. We have to make ourselves acceptable vessels for freedom by allowing ourselves to go through the process, allowing God to do the work and the parts that we are responsible for. Just do what you got to do. Being demonized is never a benefit. Being free. You see, most people, when they look at deliverance, they're thinking about what they have to give up. I think your perspective is off. It should be what you're going to gain. Right? And the enemy always wants you to believe what you're missing. But it's not about what you're missing. It's about what you're going to get. And that's it. It's a journey. Walk through it. Learn how to pray and fast. Learn your word because the word is a weapon used against uh, the enemy. And if we can learn our word to become students of the word, understand how important the word is in this, this life with Christ, this relationship with Christ, where he empowers us to walk in freedom if we choose to. And that's it. Just listen, jump on a, jump on a, um, a uh, calendar, go through the process and let God do the work. We're just the vessels that do the deliverance that he uses with God. His son, Jesus is the deliverer. And that's it. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Wayne. I mean, Apostle Wayne. <laughs> It's Congratulations right. on the elevation. Amen. Well, um, done. and if you could just close us out in prayer, that would be amazing. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy, busy, busy day. I know you're super busy to come and talk to me and uh the people that are going to be watching this. And I'm just so excited. So thank you once again. Thank you for having me. And and anytime you need me, you just let me know. All right, amen. Father, we thank you that. This video is going viral. We thank you, Lord. There'll be no obstacles to people seeing and hearing and knowing the truth about deliverance. We thank you, Lord, that even right now you are moving every obstacle out of the way, even in technology, even the algorithmic uh, manipulation. Father God, we put an end to it in the name of Jesus so that this video would go far and wide and give an understanding to those who are seeking a change in their lives. Father, we bless you and we honor you for who you are, God. And even right now, we come against the plans and the schemes of the enemy of those who will hear, those who will receive, those who will respond, Father God, that you are working to remove the obstacles in their lives, Father God, even in their churches, God, so that they can hear a word in season and that they will respond and know that the love of Christ has galvanized the people to get ready to line up, to be trained and are trained to minister deliverance to them. Father God, let the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow over your daughter. Father God, cause her to go far and wide. And those that follow her, those that hear her voice, will know that she is the mouthpiece of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity. You said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So Father God, we lift you up. Jesus, we lift you up to your proper position and posture, God, as we humble ourselves before you, God that you will be seen and known authentically, God. Not the effigies that we have made of you, God, but the authentic, true and living God, the living, breathing Son of God who came and died on the cross so that we would be free and given us the authority to rid ourselves of demonic oppression. Father, we bless you, God. Bless every person that will hear our voices. Bless uh, your daughter, Lord, and everything that she has need of. Let these things be provided unto her. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.